Excellent morning, boys and girls. How are you today? Yes. Welcome back to school. Today we are going to be looking at something very wonderful. Something extremely what? Simple. Simple, 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 simple. Yes. Um, let's not forget, we are still in our math clinic and we are still talking about our weight series. Alright? Talking about what? Our weight series, okay? So today, we already know, like I said before, everything in weight is going to be easy for us as long as we are conversant with what? Our table of what? Weight measure. Now, Today I want to talk about addition of weights. Alright? Now, I need you to stay attention. See, we know very well that if they ask us to add, normally, normal addition, for example, add 248 plus 192. Normal addition, no. 8 plus 2 is 10, right? Zero, carry 1. Abi? Mm -hmm. 4 plus 1 is 5, Abi? Now, 9 plus 5 is what? 14, right? Right? 4, carry 1. Mm -hmm. 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. That is what? 440. Now, it is the same way you add your normal addition that you add your weight. But there is a little difference. Alright? Stay with me. Stay with me. There's what? A little difference. And that little difference is what we want to what? bring to your attention today. So, that little difference that I'm talking about means that addition of weight is easy like we said here but when carrying the extra you should remember that 10 milligram will give you 130 gram the same thing that we were saying in our previous class all right you should remember that what 10 milligram gives you what 130 gram 100 centigram gives you one gram 1,000 grams gives you one kilogram. 1,000 kilogram gives you one ton. Exactly the same thing with what we have here. So now let us quickly get straight to it without wasting much of our time. So now add the following. All right. 24 centigram, 9 milligrams plus 33 centigrams, 8 milligrams. Now, if you want to add this particular thing now, we have to bring this it out, okay? So we have 30 gram and milligrams. Stay with me. Now, you're going to see that it's not the normal addition we used to know. So here we have 24, and here we have what? 9. Alright? 24, 30 grams, 9 milligrams. Then we have 33, um, 30 grams, 8 milligrams. You rule your line and add. Now, let's ask ourselves a simple question. How many milligrams makes one centigram? From our table, it is what? How many milligrams make one centigram? 10, Abby. Now, in the, now the, this is the secret. It means that anything you are going to write here must not be more than 10. In fact, it must not be up, it must not be up to 10. In this milligram section, any number you are going to write here is not going to be up to 10. So if you add and you get something that is more than 10, you have to remove that 10. No? Remove that 10 and call it 1 centigram and put it here. You are confused, Abby. I will go back, but when I solve more questions, we are going to start understanding it. See what I'm saying? First of all, look at the two units you have. When you are giving the two units, the first thing you are going to do is that, okay, how many of these will give me this? Now, we know that 10 milligrams will give you 130 grams. Now, when adding, whatever I'm going to write here is not going to be up to 10. All right? And parameter is more than 10. What you're going to do is that you're going to remove the 10. Call that 10, 130 gram, and put it here. The remainder is what you write. For example, 9 plus 8 is 17. I can't write 17 here. I can't write 17 here because 17 is more than 10. Am I communicating? So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to remove 10. 17 milligrams minus 10 milligrams. That will give me what? 7 milligrams. That's 7. If it's not up to 10, this is what I'm going to write here. 
Now, this 10 milligrams that I've already got in, that I've already removed from this 17 gram, I will now call it what? 130 gram and put it here. Because you know very well that 10 milligrams gives you what? 130 gram. Am I communicating? So when you now remove, carry one 10 milligrams from here to the 30 gram section, is this still going to be 10? It's not going to be 10. That 10 now is automatically going to be what? One what? 30 grams. Because from our table, um, 10 milligrams will give you what? 130 grams. 10 milligrams will give you 130 grams. So any place you have 10 milligrams, you can write in, 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 in milligram section to be 10. But once it comes to the 30 gram section, it's no longer the 10. It will now automatically become what? 1. Now you now add 24 plus 1, 25. Then 25 plus 33. You know that 5 plus 3 is 8. And 2 plus 3 is what? 5. Then we will now come here and write what? 50, 58 what? 58 centigram. This is your answer. Very simple. That's how we told you that. Remember, when carrying the extra, you should remember that 10 milligrams is 170 grams. So now, when you remove that 10 and it comes here, it's no longer going to be 10, no. You see, have you seen the difference between this addition and this addition? That's why I said, you know, someone will say, ah, it's, very, it's the addition, it's very simple. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very simple, but it's technical. All right? It's technical because it's still going to bring us back to this table. See what I'm making reference about this table? It's technical, but it's still going to do what? Bring us back to what? This table. That I said, as long as this weight series is concerned, if you don't know this, I'm sorry, you're going to struggle. You know, I love you and I don't want to struggle. That's I'm telling you to learn it. Now, the second question we have in the set, 2 grams, 12 centigrams, stay with me, you don't need any distraction now, so you can get the concept. 9 milligrams plus 6 grams, 88 centigrams, 6 what, milligrams. Now, if you notice now, in this place now, we have three things. Grams, centigrams, and what? Milligrams. Now, we have 2 grams, 12 centigrams, 9 milligrams. We have 6 grams, 88 centigrams, 6 milligrams. You add. We are going to add, but we are going to be very, very simple. Now, it, 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 like I told you, how many milligrams makes 170 grams? 10. That means whatever I'm going to write here is not going to be what? Up to 10. Now, how many centigrams gives you 1 gram? 100, a bit. That means anything you are going to write here is not going to be up to 100. So if you get an answer that is more than 100, you remove that 100 and carry it here. I believe it's getting clearer now. And when I add it up, let's add it separately. 9 plus 6, we know it is what? 17. 17 what? Milligrams. But like I told us, we cannot write the 17 here because 17 is more than 10. So what are we going to do? We remove what? 10. 17 minus 10 is what? 7. So this remainder now is not up to 10. We write it here, 7 milligrams. Now this 10 that we remove from this 17, we add it here. Are you with me? The 10 that we remove from here now, it becomes on this section, it becomes 1 centigram. So now 12 plus 1 is going to be what? 13. Now 13 plus 88. 8 plus 3. 11, right? 1, carry 1, right? Now 8 plus 1, 9. 9 plus 1, 10. So you see, we have 101 centigrams. Are we going to write this 101 centigrams here? No. Now remember, if we don't have any grams, all right? If they didn't give us any grams, we might write the 101 because there's no other thing. But as far as this question is concerned, there is what? There is grams. So you have to respect what? That grams by doing what? By removing the 100. And when you remove this 100, you take it to the gram section. It's not like I said you have to know this table. I'm sorry, but you just have to learn it. Even if you don't want to, you have to. So, now we have 101 centigram, but the rule is that anything I'm going to write set under this centigram, as long as this gram is concerned, that thing will not be up to what? 100. So that means as I've got 101 now, I'm going to remove 100. 101 minus what? 100. 1 minus 0 is 1. 0. So you see, my, my remainder is what? 1. 
So I'm going to write one centigram here. Now the hundred that I've removed now will become what? The hundred centigrams that I've removed from here will become what? One gram. Because hundred centigrams gives you what? One gram. So two plus one, that one now is this hundred that I removed from here, remember, okay? So two plus one is three. Three plus this is what? Nine grams, one centigram, seven milligrams. That's how you do it. I believe it's clear. No, it's not as confusing as you think. It's just that, that, that that's why we said that, that it is easy, but as long as you understand that, first of all, when you study what you are giving, how many of these will give you this? And how many of these will give you this? When you figure out how many of these will give you this, whatever you are writing here must not be up to how many of these will give you this. It must be less than. Now, the third question that we have, we have 2 kilograms, 486 grams plus 7 kilograms, 812 watt grams. Okay? Now, we have only two units here kilogram and gram. Alright, so we write our kilograms and grams. So we write 2 kilograms, 486 grams, 7 kilograms, 812 grams. So the question that we're going to ask ourselves now is this. How many grams give you one kilogram? We know it's what? 1,000. So that means anything we're writing here, what? Fantastic! You are wonderful. Anything I'm going to write here is not going to be up to 1,000. No. If it is 1,000, you call that 1,000, one kilogram. It, it, it will be less than what? 1,000. So let's add 486 plus 812. Now, 6 plus 2 is what? 8. 8 plus 1 is what? 9. And 8 plus 4 is what? 12. Now you see that we have 1,298 grams. Are we going to write it here? No way. No way. Because it's more than what? 1,000. So what I want to do now, we remove what? 1,000. Because 1,000 grams make 1 kilogram. Alright? So now, this one is an underground calculation. No? <laughs> now, 8 minus 0 is 8. 9 minus 0 is 9, 2 minus 0 is what? 2, and 1 minus 1 is what? 0. So that means this one that is here up to 1000. No, I'm going to write it here 298 grams. Now, this 1000 grams that I've removed will come here and become what? 1 kilogram. Alright? So now 2 plus 1, 3. 3 plus 7 is what? 10. 10 kilograms, 298 grams. I believe it's clear. It's clear, right? Yeah, it's clear. Now, number four. We have four kilograms, 600 grams, plus four kilograms, 800 what? Grams. So we have two units here, which is what? Kilogram and what? Grams. Four kilograms, 600 what? Grams. And uh, another four kilograms, 800 what? Grams. See, that, you know, the, the, let, let, let me rephrase what I said before. All right, as as long as you want to solve addition of this, you have to. Why well, I'm not going to do the solution today is because we need to understand this first of all. All right. So, two units, grams and kilogram. How many of these will give you this? One thousand, right? So whatever you're writing here should not be up to what? One thousand. Now, so we have six hundred plus eight hundred. Eight plus this is what? Fourteen. Wonderful. 14. That's 1,400 what? Grams. Are we going to write it here? No. What are we going to do? Remove what? 1,400 minus what? 1,000. You know how we got 1,000? 1,000 grams make 1 kilogram. So when we subtract, we have 400. So we are going to write the remainder 400 grams because it's not 1,000. That 1,000 grams will become what? 1 kilogram. Put it here. So 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 plus 4 is what? 9. So 9 kilograms, 400 watts, grams. Is it clear? Oh, ha. I know someone will say, ah, it's very easy. Yeah, it's very easy, but a little bit complex. So when, when, when we are solving this question, we have to be what? Very, very what? Careful. Taking and being careful simply means we just have to be mindful of this. When adding, after you've arranged it accordingly, 
The next question you are going to ask yourself is how many of these will give me this? And if you don't know this table, you won't solve it. So please, I'm talking about it to go and learn it. That I said, it's going to be on this board as a point of reference. To be a new witness that I said, as long as I'm going to do this thing, and guess what? Okay, let me make this also. As long as I'm going to do this addition or whatever that has to do with weights, you need to know that thing though. Because I'm not telling you. And secondly, in your external exam, they, 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 they know students usually fill this question as against the normal addition. They ask them more, if you want to give you anything on weight, is this thing they will give you? Or conversion? And you know that one, hmm, if, if you don't have that table on your head, you can't do anything. So, with that, we've come to the end of today's class. Write it down and then let me know when you are done and I'll send you the link for your class assessment. So until I come away next time, keep learning and don't forget to stay safe. I'm Mr. Mona, love you all. So I'll see you in the next class. Take care. Bye-bye.